Welcome back to Subnautica. I gotta tell you, I I really like this game. I didn't think I would, to be honest, but I've put over two days of game time into this game. And, you know, I went and I found copper at the at the Lost River. Which is it was fairly difficult to find. So when I decided to build a base next to the Lost River so that I would have easy access to all the resources, everything you need, basically. I figured that I'd make a video showing people where it is and where you could set up your base. So, just to get started, I'm here at the starting point. And... You can, oh. Come on, I'm, I'm stuck on this stupid... Okay. Sorry about that. So, the ship's on the left, so we're facing away from the engines, facing this way. So if you're at the ship, you just have to look... You just have to look almost directly between southwest and west. It's, it's like half a tick to the left. You see, that would be right in the middle. So you go ha half a tick to the left, then you should be good, and it's about 800... 871 meters away. So if you head straight this direction, you should be on your way. Let's a go. I suppose going directly over this thing should let you know that you're going the right way. Hmm, that's handy. Okay, so as you're getting closer, You'll see that there's this there's this place right here. And then the ground gets really high. I decided to build here so that I could have it raised as close to the surface as I could. I could put some solar panels on the top and I could get some power here. I even added a scanner room. So right now I have it scanned for rubies. So it tells me where all the rubies are. Very handy. So, after you, after you get here, all you have to do is go straight down. Oh, also, I should mention that one way to so you know where you are is you just have to look back and you can tell you're about 900 meters. So you can tell if you've gone too far, if that says a thousand or, you know, something like that. And it, it should be at, at that, at between northeast and east, it should be one tick to the left. Okay, hopefully that's enough for you to find your way here. Okay, so after you get here, just go straight down. Also, your sea moth should have the maximum depth at this point. It should go down to 900 meters, because this gets, this gets really deep. Okay, it takes, takes a little while for you to see anything, but if you see these these bright trees here, you're, you're in the right place. And these electric guys. So then you take a right down this trench. Keep, keep it going. And you can find these, those things here, which are very useful. going down. You'll see a little bit of debris here. 
and then you'll see the green smog here. This is like the beginning of the river, basically. Here, you just need to take a right, and there you go. There's the river. And you follow the river down. See, I'm already past 600 meters. I'm almost at 700, so yeah. Pretty important for you to have a good depth module. Now, this is actually where I recorded my other video, which I would recommend watching. It tells you what minerals are down here and shows you exactly where to find the nickel ore, which is probably why you want to come here in the first place. But now, now you know how to get here. Here are the heat vents in case you wanted to set up your base or something like that. Well, I guess that's about it for me, guys. I hope you have a great time exploring the bottom of the ocean. Have a great time, guys.